describing how a patient is behaving to say, I notice you're looking out the window. Mm -hmm. That would be a way to avoid contact here with me. Mm -hmm. You know, that can make us feel very anxious because oh. we are socialized. Actually, when you think about it, we're actually socialized not to talk about what people are doing in their relationship. Not to even look at one eyes. Yeah, we're socialized not to look at their eyes. We're socialized to reinforce defenses. Right? You think of a family gathering, if your uncle says something terrible, your mother says, okay, everyone, let's go to the dining room for dinner, right? Yeah. We learn how to provide defenses, mm. right? So it's an unusual thing as a therapist realize it's actually not my job to provide the defenses, my job is to describe defenses. If someone distances from us, we tend to just let them distance. Mm -hmm. That's considered polite, right? Yes. That's polite is you don't talk about mm -hmm. defenses. In therapy, we have to find a way to be polite, but also describe. My concern here is when you distance this way, then this would help us understand why your wife mm -hmm. is seeking a divorce. She's not wanting to divorce you, mm -hmm. but she's wanting to divorce this wall of distance that you're offering as a substitute. To say simple things like this about the relationship is really, it's breaking taboos, right? We grow up with taboos like what you don't say to mom and dad, and then yes. what you don't say to family members. Mm -hmm. And then when we enter, become therapists, we're having to recognize, oh, those were interesting family taboos known as defenses. And that now as a therapist, I have to say certain things that were forbidden to say in the past. Mm 